Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? This morning, uh, we're going to do something in the air fryer. A lot of people have commented they like the low carb recipes and they want to see more of the air fryer. So we're going to do um, bacon in the air fryer this morning. And I haven't done it before. I usually just do my bacon on top of the stove. But hey, if it can do it in this air fryer and I don't have to get popped with hot grease while frying bacon, well, that's going to be a good thing. So, what I got here is, this is the thick sliced bacon from Costco. So what I do is I cut it right in half. Because if you've got a big old long piece of bacon, it's, uh, it's hard to cook, you know, in a little air fryer. You don't got a lot of different you know room there to lay the bacon out so we're just going to lay half strips and i even do that when i uh when i fry it on the stove i always cut my bacon in half because i don't like it to curl up so much because then you got a lot that doesn't cook good so i like all to cook so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you all my air fryer here a lot of people's had questions about this air fryer Somebody gave this air fryer to me last year or the year before. I can't remember. I'm going to show y'all what the, that's what kind of air fryer it is. So it's like this big dome thing. Now this is a pretty good size one here. But what you have is you have this, you, all your air fryers will have some type of a removable base there. Because that's, you take that out to clean it. And then this one, I'm going to put, this, this one has a lot of, a lot of different pieces to this air fryer. But this, I'm going to put this in because see, it's like a stand. It'll pull the bacon up off the floor because we want all the grease to drop down to the bottom. And then I have this basket and I'm going to put my bacon in this basket right here. Just going to move this over here. and We're going to fill our basket up with bacon right here I'm just going to take the pieces off and lay this bacon in this basket now it might take a little bit longer to cook the thick sliced but that's what we're going to try today is the thick sliced and I guess to kind of rearrange it where you got a little bit of room. We're going to do it just like this. And I'm going to stick them over here. Whoops, sorry about that. My little tripod fell. All right. I'm going to stick them just like that in the air fryer. And I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to put it on 400 degrees. And we're going to cook it about, we're going to, I'm going to put it on eight minutes and we'll see how eight minutes does and I'll get right back to you. Well, actually, I forgot one thing I was going to do. I was going to put some water in the bottom of my air fryer. It's just started cook. It's not hot yet. I'm going to pour some water in the bottom. That way, when the grease drips down in through there, and gets real hot, it won't smoke up. So let's just get this started again. There we go. All right, I'll get back and show you what we're doing. All right, we've cooked it for 12 minutes. I want y'all to see what it looks like. And the grease is all down in the bottom. Now if you like it more crispy, just cook it a little bit longer, and if you don't like it as crispy, you can shut it off early. There you go. Looks pretty good. I didn't have to do anything. Put it in and walk away. I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of that. The rest of my pack here So what I usually do. I cook the whole pack at once and just put it in the refrigerator, and then we can make bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, or we can make uh, bacon uh, cheese and egg 
in the morning. So I like to keep bacon, fry the whole pound up. Then we can just make sandwiches and stuff with it. All right. Hope this helps you and helps you learn how to use your air fryer a little bit. Talk to y'all later. Bye.